Goodwood Motor Racing Circuit in West Sussex. Here, Guy Martin and Jason Miles aim to cycle further in 24 hours than any pair ever before. The distance they need to beat stands at 505 miles. Are we getting in yet? Their trike is now painted silver to reflect as much heat as possible. But the summer sun is no longer their biggest weather worry. The remnants of Hurricane Bertha are set to arrive on our shores on Sunday. One of the best summers we've had for ages. It, which the, it was, yeah. And then the day we do it, what's on the way? Hurricane. Yeah. Weather warnings have been issued, disruption is possible, and if you are travelling or have outdoor plans this weekend, really do keep a close eye on the forecast. It was going to be an extra thing to deal with. We could perhaps do without. Mike Tipton and Nigel Mitchell will look after the boys' well-being and nutrition throughout the 24 hours. Are you fixing and drinking, lads? We will do, mate. Yeah, yeah we'll be sure. Mike Burrows and Miles Kingsbury will care for the bike. Mike, Miles, it's over to you to start it. After a full day of prep, at 6.26pm, they're ready to go. It's happening, mate, isn't it? It's happening. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck. Right from the off, their pace is blistering. Get ahead of it. Get ahead of it, because you don't know what's going to happen. We, don't want, we didn't want to be playing catch-up. You don't know whether it's going to be a hurricane, it's going to be hot weather, it's going to be a wheel falls off or, or whatever it is. You've got to make hay while the sun shines. Yeah. You happy enough with that pace? Um, yeah. So if that pace is building us a fair cushion up. After the first hour, they're averaging 29.99 miles per hour. Nice. <laughs> That's well above record pace. They're happy, but their support team aren't. <laughs> Slow down now. You're working a little bit hard at the moment, you two, so you just need to ease back a little bit. They'll also save your bums as well. OK, nice, thank you. <laughs> Said OK, cheers. Yeah, yeah, and a big grin on their faces. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, they're silly boys <laughs> with a new toy. <laughs> Vicky's going to do that all the way through. <laughs> nah, if it's about two in the morning, he'll get bored. <laughs> Despite all the advice from the pits, Guy and Jason keep up their incredible pace. Even as night falls, they don't let up. And after just three hours and 25 minutes, they've clocked up their first 100 miles. After four hours, Nigel's prepping for the first food transfer. So we've got the soup here, so the soup's nice and warm and it's also got lots of good nutrients in. We've got the rice cakes down here, so this is slow-released energy. There's also a little bit of protein in there. There's some pistachio nuts in again, which just gives some carbohydrates and the protein. And then down here, we've got the more specialist sports food. So we've got the bars again, giving complex carbohydrates, slow-release, and the gels, which give that, that fast carbohydrate. And we've got some gels with caffeine, which gives both the sugar and the caffeine it as well. Along with water bladders, a delivery of this food every four hours should be enough to keep them going for the whole record attempt. Good luck. And the first delivery goes like clockwork. <laughs> yes! Refueled, Guy and Jason pedal on into the night. Four hours and they're not dropping off. From experience, the third hour is the one that gets you if you're not really ready for this. But they do seem to be acclimatising. And yeah, there's, there's no obvious sign of them dropping off. So maybe it's my machining that will fail before their bodies do it. <laughs> As evening turns into the early hours of morning, Guy, Jason and their trike are still going strong. Go on, lads. Dig in. Up, up. And just before 4 a.m., they reach a major milestone. They clock up 253 miles. They're halfway 
to becoming world record holders. I got a smile. However, with every lap they chalk up, the remnants of Hurricane Bertha get closer, and it's not looking good. I'm pleased they've got those miles under their belt because everything we're seeing here is telling us that the challenge will get tougher rather than easier. And of course, then they'll be, have been cycling 6, 12, 18 hours. It's not in the bag, let's put it like that. Even before Bertha arrives, they have a major problem. Got a flat. Oi. A puncture forces them to stop, something they were desperate to avoid. It's one of the front ones because we know they're under a lot of, lot of stress, so we're guessing that's worn through. We've got lots of spares. Yeah. The team work fast, but the clock's ticking. The anxiety starts to build, doesn't it? You yeah. think, come on, come on, come on, come on. The stop wastes 20 precious minutes. After 12 hours, they've clocked up 316 miles. But then the wind and rain begins, and they're forced in again. They can't see where they're going on account of the screen. Water on the outside and condensation on the inside. It's hard to get ready with a drill. We had to come in, and we had to have holes drilled in the famous brakes. They weren't, they weren't very big. There were only two of them. He's not going to help the air right now, go. but no. we had no choice. We had no choice. It's a short stop, but as they pedal on, Guy is clearly in pain. Big saw down there. Yeah. My willy was chafing. The inside of my legs and my backside. Chafing, when you want them to rub together for 24 hours, you're going to get... Like nappy rash. Just the same, isn't it? Guy's chafing gets so painful, they're forced to make another costly stop. Don't matter how embarrassing it is, it's a potential showstopper. And it's definitely not something you can just go, oh, man up. I was going to change my shot. You just blather up in chamois cream. Bob open sores at that stage and putting chamois cream on that, it is a bit really tender. In dry clothes and with cream applied, they head out again. OK. <laughs> but that stop wasted another 15 minutes. And now the storm proper arrives. It wasn't ideal for putting in fast lap times. Can't see anything now at all. The side winds were like a gorilla hitting. Yeah, it was like moving us across the course, wasn't it? We, we were getting wet. Sprayed off the back wheel, didn't it? Yeah. But we was wet enough as it was because we was wetting our own wee and our own sweat. The lap times really start to drop off because of the vision. They are now averaging just 19 miles per hour. They're struggling to see, they're struggling to keep it going in the right direction, and they're working as hard as they've worked all day, but are going slower. In fact, they're coming through now, look. Uh, we were very elated early on, but now this is what records are all about. The huge winds now force them in again to get the canopy taped down as it's threatening to blow off. They're now pitting repeatedly, Everything in the bike is soaked, and their pace has dropped off a cliff. After 16 hours, the effort of cycling and steering in such horrific conditions is taking a very heavy toll on Guy and Jason. Eventually, they can't go on. My lower back was... Yeah, I was in agony. The pain was from where I was actually making contact with the seat. My Achilles, really sore. Just all the chafing. If we hadn't stopped, it would have gone wrong. We knew that the team of people that were in our pit would be able to look after us and, and put us right. Dr Gemma Milligan from Mike Tipton's team works on their injuries. Gemma, her uh, massage technique. <laughs> We're like, right. best massage I've ever had. Yeah, that was needed. Can you tell me where? No, just the whole back one there, where you put your hands there. Here? Yeah. Yes. They're in the pits for almost an hour. Okay, sun's out now. As they finally prepare to set off again, 
they know the record is starting to slip away from them. I'm waiting for myself, I'm Because I've got the thing on me, on me Todger, but then a bit of wee comes out, I'm waiting myself. And I'm just sat in, I'm just sat in my own wee. Do you want to mop it out a bit before you sit down? Happily though, conditions outside the trike are now improving. Oh, that's beautiful, that's lovely. Yeah, it's awesome. yeah. Feel an energy out. A big effort could still put them back on track. Conversation in the bike stops, and ignoring the pain, they both just keep pedaling. The environment's right now for finishing the job. The wind's dropped, the sun's out. You just go, right, well, let's just finish the job now. Incredibly, after 20 hours, they're close to 500 miles, and a new world record is in sight. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate the commitment. Job anyway. I'm just so chuffed that you asked me to do it and it turned out the way it did. At just before 3.30 pm on Sunday, August the 10th, after cycling for 20 hours, 53 minutes and 39 seconds, Guy and Jason complete 506 miles, meaning they've pedaled further together than anyone else ever before. How are you feeling? Well, thank you. Brilliant. Thanks for all your effort, yeah. guys. Yeah. Thank you for doing it. <laughs> They've reached their target with three hours to spare. And those are three hours they don't intend to waste. We don't want to give, we don't want to give somebody who might want to, you know, go and beat our record a three hour start, do we? <laughs> I think we can get thick end of 50 miles. I hope so. Yeah. They resolve to cycle on intent on pushing what is now their world record as high as possible. It's just really nice when a plan that's been in the making for months comes together and brings together such determined and talented people. Oh, well, I think as far as an effort's concerned, then that's right up there with anything that I've uh, been involved with before. Guy is famous for being Guy, and his character, as much as his stamina, I'm sure, got him through, and Jason was there matching him. After the full 24 hours at 6.26 p.m., they've clocked up a staggering 565 miles. Thanks for your effort. Well, well, you've earned it. Anybody out there, just try doing anything for 24 hours. I don't even care if it's sitting down. You'll struggle doing it. Now imagine doing that while cycling um, at around about 23, 24 miles an hour, and it'll just give you a handle on what's been achieved today. If there was ever a time or a place to fall out, it was in there, and we never had a crossword. <laughs> I'm just dead proud of it. I'm really proud of it. Proud of yourself, <laughs> proud of Guy. That's pretty much it. I'm proud of you. Pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Set out to do that. Tick the box. Move on to the next job. Just yeah. Job, job satisfaction. Just not in any. Just yeah. Spot on. Job done. Couldn't have wished for more. We've had a fabulous day. Amazing record. That's going to hang on the wall for quite a while, I would think.